What's up? This is coming from Wizard Tricks. Just got a fresh cut. Check that out. My hair was getting so long. I really need one and so glad I got it because now I'm looking fresh and clean. Oh, definitely smash that like button if you like it. Um, but anyways, out here in the park and look at this. I have a Dementor. Not a brilliant Dementor. An actual hairy Quidditch one from... Um, from the actual foundables not from the event so let's see if i can get this one if i don't get it on this one i think i'm going to drop a uh a potion on it and a stimulo potion let's go ahead let's do a potent let's do a potent one i want this guy these don't come around very often it's a, a high threat level and and i want to get it there we go that should be decent there we go got a great there let's see if we can let's see if we can get this guy Nope. All right, let's try again. Oh, horrible, horrible. Oh, out of spell energy. All right. I knew that was going to happen. I was really low. I'll have to walk over here and get it. There we go. Let's see. Oh, 10 from that one. All right. All right. It wants me to get this one. So we're going to go back in and try this, try this again. I can tell you I'm not going to get it if I don't. I got to get my pop socket out. There you go. Pop socket makes it so much easier to do this while filming. It's just like easier to hold it and like manipulate my thumb. There we go. That's a masterful right there. Let's see, am I gonna get it? What do you think? Feeling good, feeling good? No. All right, let's try it again. All right, let's do, let's do another, let's do another stimulo. There we go, another masterful. See, pop socket makes all the difference right there. Let's do it. Let's get it. No. Oh, oh man, sweating now. Oh, out of spell energy again. It's not meant to be. I'm getting out of that. But anyways, I'm out here because uh, I have a port key I'm gonna unlock. So why don't we go ahead and do that. It is my first um, port key for the Brilliant Event. It is a seven kilometer. I'm gonna use that now so I can pick up another one. Let's go ahead and put it out here. There we go. Let's, let's go over here. All right. Let's walk into it. Whoa! All right, let's see what we can find. Let's see one there. Hopefully, I can get something good. Of course, I didn't uh, let my get rid of some uh, ingredients, so I'm probably not going to get that unicorn here, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what happens. But one ministry ID, perfect. Now just two more to go for that, which is excellent. And I'm not gonna expand it, that's all right. All right, there we go, and I can pick up another one. I actually want another two kilometer. Two kilometer, no. That's all right. I need to get through four, so it's hard. To, it's actually kind of hard to get through these fours, but I got a couple fives, so I'll probably do those next instead of the sevens, just so I can get through task two. But I'm gonna go find a place to sit down because we have some really big news about the next community day, so I'm gonna tell you guys all about that right now. Okay, so we know now a lot about the next community day, which is really interesting. Check this out. So first off, it is August 10th. So plan your calendars, mark it, put it down for August 10th. That's when you need to be going out and playing Wizards Unite. Now this one's really interesting. They're doing something very different than the last community day, which I think some people really like, and I think some people may not like it as much. So let's get into the details and then we'll talk about it. So they basically have this article that they put out. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description uh, so that you guys can read all of this. But it basically says, um, get ready to head out around your neighborhood to help certain uh, to help contain the calamity during the, uh, the this month, Harry uh, Harry Potter Wizards Unite Community Day on August 10th. Meet up with friends to level up even faster as you you'll earn a variety of bonuses that will help you take on wizarding challenges together. All right, so basically this is all around wizarding challenges. The last one was about a specific type of foundable um, that you could get, the tip, tip, uh, specific family of foundables, the Hogwarts school foundables. Um, and this one's all about wizarding challenges, so very different. Uh, so let's check this out. What, what are the bonuses? 
So bonus number one, uh, extra uh, or XP bonuses when participating in challenges with additional bonuses for playing with friends. So extra bonuses with challenges plus friends. Um, then a free store pack featuring spell energy from Diagon Alley. So I'm sure they'll have some other stuff in there as well, but definitely energy, which is good. I sure they'll probably do something like um, 50 or 75 probably 50 uh, but we'll see once we get there and then healing potions brew quicker and offer more stamina when consumed so basically uh, the healing potion gets a buff so you're gonna want to get a bunch of those um, prepared at least to if you may want to have a few brewed already but then you may want to have a few extra um, or the ingredients so that you can brew some more during the event because it'll be quick I'm sure it'll it'll actually be pretty I'm sure pretty significantly you'll be able to knock out a bunch of them during the event and that's basically to help with wizarding challenges so you can do a lot of them without um, fainting or basically going down getting knocked out uh, so definitely check that out and then ingredients used to brew helium potion appear more frequently on the map so don't worry about uh, about being to find that because you'll be able to find the ingredients because they'll be out and about but I do suggest getting a few at least to start with because it would suck to get started without any healing potions that you may need especially if you're trying to do higher level uh, uh, if you're doing higher level fortresses that being said one strategy on the fortresses to get a lot of xp is actually just doing the level one so you can just get through a lot of them so with that being said you shouldn't be getting knocked out the most important thing is going to be spell energy so it's kind of interesting that they're doing that because technically um it's just faster to do level ones and just rack up a bunch of xp doing doing those uh, at least from guides that i've seen explain how to get a ton of xp for community days uh, when you have that boost but uh still if you want to do higher level ones with friends you're going to need those healing potions it'll definitely help all right, so um, potions that brew using rental cauldrons will also have a reduce um, will have a reduced brew time of 33%, which is pretty significant. Um, that's that's a quite a bit of time. So uh, obviously, it sounds like the reduced brew time for uh, for healing potions in the regular cauldron isn't going to be 33%, um, but it'll be something like that. So maybe it's like an extra 10 or an extra 15% off the brewing time uh, for uh, healing potions. Uh, but the rental cauldron, it sounds like it's not just healing potions. You could probably do like the Bruffalo Brain Elixir uh, and get a 33% reduction too. So if you wanna brew a bunch of those, then you could probably be able to bang those out as well if you're using the rental cauldron. Uh, so. That may be the only benefit there, or the primary benefit there, because it won't, it shouldn't take that long for the healing potion to brew just in the normal cauldron. So uh, I don't know if I would rent one or rent a cauldron just for your healing potion. Um, but teach his own if you want to rent it for a healing potion, by all means, you can do that. It's your game. All right, so. Um, the times in America is going to be 10, oh, sorry, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Um, so that being said, it is the exact same times for the Community Day last uh, as last month. Uh, so no change there. Um, same time from 11 to 2. So don't worry about that. Uh, you'll be able to get out there at the same time. Hopefully you like that time. Uh, so now let's now that we know what the community day is all about let's take a quick minute and talk about what exactly um, Niantic is doing here ultimately in my perspective they weren't in love with the turnout for the excitement for the first community day and I think they're trying something different to see if um, so doing something like this which is collaborative having something that you have to come together to do which is which or at least to do faster aka wizarding challenges it's a group activity or, or it's uh, probably the biggest part of the game that is a group activity is the fortresses so trying to do that to bring more people out and encourage people to invite their friends out and play that sounds like what Niantic is ultimately trying to do. It's more, I think, definitely a major marketing um, ploy to work on getting more people out there playing, which I am not complaining about. I do think that I like, if they were to really increase spawns, especially the rarity of 
the foundables that uh, that spawned. I think I would prefer the previous day community day, uh, but I really do like the fortresses. Uh, so hopefully it gets a lot of people out and playing and you can get some meetups together so that you can go out and play. So definitely take the time guys to find some people to play with start now get it on your community see who's going going to the park and playing if you see the green swish um like circles around fortresses and um inns go there see who they are see if you can meet those people if you don't have a discord that you're a part of or a, even a pokemon go there are, there are pokemon go players that play wizard unite as well so you may want to talk to those people and see if you can get into a group that's going to go around and um battle uh raids uh, or sorry fortresses the only detractor from that is it really seems like it discourages people from walking and going about. You can really just stick at one fortress um, and do this. So that's one thing for me that I think they need to figure out how to do a little bit differently as they go on is is you're really only encouraging people to go to one park at one fortress and like sit at a bench, basically sit at a bench for, for three hours battling a fortress um which i think is not exactly what niantic ultimately wants they, they want people out and about walking and exploring their city and stuff like that they want the social component so they're trying they're definitely hitting the check mark there but i think they need to do something where it really allows them to expand uh, the ability to go from place to place now they didn't announce this, but one thing they could do, and they may still do, they may surprise us all, is release raids inside of Wizard Unite. And if they do that, that would allow people to go from fortress to fortress. That being said, I think they may want to make an announcement um, close to Community Day. And seeing as we're really only a couple weeks away, I'm not sure... Um, they're going to but if they did it would encourage people to get out and go to other places not just come to one park kind of like you see like raid trains inside of pokemon go where people are going from uh either by car or by walking going to one raid to the next to the next to the next that's something that they could do inside of wizards unite that would get people out and about and trying to get it now what are they going to make that makes you want to get more than one what's going to make you want to do 50 like there's people who go in pokemon go and do 50 raids in a community day it's crazy but people literally do that and i've i've literally done it. i think the most i've done is 30 in a day or like 32 raids in a day it was uh, i think shiny zapdos is the one i did 30 raids for because it's my favorite legendary just fyi um instinct all the way but uh that that is basically the one uh the type of thing they could do to get people going out but what is it going to make them want to go do more than one um so that's a question if you have an answer to that what could they do to make people want to do if they did do raids like that where could they uh put what could they do to make you want to do more than one so definitely check it out. Let me know. Drop a comment in the description and subscribe to the channel for more Wizards Unite content. I got some more fun stuff coming up. And of course, community day coverage is going to be right here on the channel. Uh, so hope you guys have a good one and I will see you guys next time.